You might know Bandai Namco as the company behind some of the sickest games ever. But did you know they started from the bottom? Yep, that's right. This iconic brand had to hustle hard to become the powerhouse it is today. This is a story of a company who rose to fame and renown by the world, starting from making toys to creating some of the most iconic games ever imagined that is changing the gaming landscape. The pioneer of arcade games, Masaya Nakamura, is the brand behind one of the greatest game companies in history. He was born in Tokyo, Japan on December 24, 1925, and was a bright young man when he graduated from the Yokohama Institute of Technology in 1948. But what's surprising is that he didn't graduate in anything remotely relevant to video games. He graduated with a degree in shipbuilding. But now, we all know that wasn't his true passion. Nakamura wanted to create fun things for people, so he set out on a journey to do exactly that. In 1955, he started his own company called Nakamura Seisakusho Limited, and it produced popcorn guns and coin-operated mechanical rights for Japanese department store rooftops and in 1974 expanded his business by buying the Japanese division of Atari from Nolan Bushnell. He was well aware that the video game industry was on the rise and saw an opportunity to get it on the action. Call it perfect timing or whatever, it was a pretty smart move. Then in 1977, he renamed his company Namco and just a year later, the company released its first video game produced in-house and gradually, under Nakamura's leadership, Namco became one of the biggest and most successful game companies in Japan alongside Nintendo, Sega, and Konami, which were huge names at that time. And even though Nakamura was not a game designer, he was all over Namco's games. He would play a game for up to 23 hours straight before it was launched. Unlike his rival Hiroshi Yamauchi, who was the big boss of Nintendo but never even played Nintendo's very own video games. And while Nakamura loved games, he was worried about young people getting hooked on screens. Guess his prophecy has come true now. He said it wasn't good for them if they played too much. Anyway, Namco kept making games and finally launched one of the most iconic arcade games ever, Pac-Man. Nakamura didn't just focus on video games. He had plenty of other interests as well. In 1993, he bought the Japanese film studio Nikatsu where he was involved in many of their films and was credited for several of them. And after the huge success of Pac-Man, they kept expanding their brand by getting into other stuff, like building amusement parks in Japan that were all food themed. Because of Nakamura, Namco branched out into arcade centers and amusement parks across Japan and soon overseas, such as Wonder X in Tokyo. He even purchased the Aladdin's castle chain from Bali, this guy was an entrepreneur true and true. Nakamura even contributed to the formation of Monolith Soft, a video game developer, and also became the chairman of the Japan Amusement Machine and Marketing Association, or JAMA for short. And in 2002, Nakamura stepped down as Namco's CEO and instead went on to take on ceremonial role in the company's management. After Namco merged with Bandai in 2005 to form Bandai Namco Holdings, Nakamura kept a non-anary position in the company's video game branch. His contributions to the gaming industry were immeasurable and almost revolutionary. He will always be remembered as a visionary leader who helped shape the industry into what it is today. Nakamura passed away on January 22, 2017 at the age of 91, marking the end of an era. Bandai Namco's Rise to Success the story of Bandai Namco begins in 1950s Japan when two companies were founded. The first was Bandai, which was initially a toy company started by a man named Naoharu Yamashina. And the second one was Namco, which was founded by our very own Masaya Nakamura and was a company that produced amusement park rides and mechanical games. While these companies started in different industries, they both had one thing in common the drive to innovate and change the world of entertainment and deliver quality, fun experiences to audiences all over the world. As years passed, both Bandai and Namco grew and expanded their reach. The former focused more on toys and Namco on video games. 
Namco's first breakthrough came in 1979 with the release of their iconic game Pac-Man, which quickly became a mega success globally, making Namco a major player in the industry. And Bandai continued to grow as well, developing popular toy lines like Tamagotchi and Power Rangers, which became huge successes as well. Bandai and Namco continued to grow and expand independently, but it wasn't until the early 2000s that the two companies decided to merge. In 2005, Bandai and Namco officially merged to create Bandai Namco Holdings. The merger was a huge step for both companies as it allowed them to bring together their resources and expertise to create even more exciting experiences for consumers. Bandai Namco Entertainment, the video game division of the company, has since released several popular games. The company has also expanded into other forms of entertainment, such as anime and manga, with popular franchises like Dragon Ball Z and Naruto. The merger between Bandai and Namco was a strategic move that really proved to be beneficial for both companies. By joining forces, they were able to expand and double their reach and even take on new markets in the video game industry. The resulting company Bandai Namco Holdings became a major player in the industry, with a wide range of products and services that included everything from video games and toys to anime. One of the biggest benefits of the merger was the increased financial stability and more resources for the new company. Bandai Namco Holdings had a larger pool of funds to invest in research and development, marketing, and acquisitions. This allowed them to create more innovative products and expand their offerings to new markets without any financial limitations. For example, they were able to acquire new development studios and work on bigger projects. Another benefit of the merger was the combination of their intellectual properties. Bandai had a strong reputation for creating popular anime and toy franchises, while Namco was known for its video games. And when the two became one, they were able to create new and exciting cross-platform products that combine these different strengths. This also helped them expand their fan base. The merger also helped them to streamline their operations and cut costs. By combining their manufacturing and distribution networks, they were able to reduce redundancies and increase efficiency, allowing them to compete more effectively with other major players in the industry such as Nintendo and Sony. Bandai Namco has a long list of notable games that have captured the hearts of gamers all around the world. Every single fan of fighting games would definitely recognize Tekken, a beloved series featuring iconic characters like Jin Kazama and Kazuya Mishima. Another popular fighting game from Bandai Namco is Soul Calibur, known for its fast-paced battles and unique weapon-based combat that people all over the world enjoy. For those who love role-playing games, Bandai Namco has the Tales series, which offers an epic adventure with captivating stories and unforgettable characters. Other popular RPGs from Bandai Namco include the Dark Souls series, famous for its challenging gameplay and atmospheric world-building, as well as Nino Kuni, a game with beautiful visuals and an engaging story. Bandai Namco has also launched some of the most iconic arcade games of all time. Who can forget Pac-Man? the yellow dot munching character who became a global phenomenon in the 1980s and remains popular even today. Dolaga is another classic arcade game from Bandai Namco which challenges players to fend off swarms of alien invaders in a thrilling space battle. And every fan of anime and manga would recognize some of Bandai Namco's games based on popular franchises. The Dragon Ball Z series features intense fighting action and perfect adaptations of the beloved anime and manga. One Piece, another popular anime and manga series, is also represented in several Bandai Namco games, like One Piece Pirate Warriors and One Piece Burning Blood. Lastly, Bandai Namco has also published some of the most visually stunning and emotionally powerful games in recent years, like Little Nightmares and Katamari the Macy Reroll, which offer unique gameplay experiences and captivating visuals while titles like the Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Medan, and 1111 Memories Retold explore complex themes and offer unforgettable storytelling. Just a year ago, 
Bandai Namco got totally hacked. Some bad guys broke into their internal systems on July 3rd without permission. According to reports from Eurogamer, and it's still not clear who did it or what they took, or did they even steal anything or not. All we know is that the hackers belong to the ALPHV ransomware group, also known as Black Cat. These are notorious cyber criminals who have been responsible for over 60 attacks on companies all over the world, including the Colonial Pipeline breach. Bandai Namco has admitted that there was an attack and they are trying to figure out how much damage was done. According to them, the hackers went after systems in Asian regions, excluding Japan, and they have blocked access to prevent any more harm. Unfortunately, it's possible that consumer information connected to the company's toys and collectibles business was stolen. In short, starting as a small company that made toys and amusement parks, Bandai Namco now leads the way in creating one of the best video games and entertainment experiences that fans all over the world love. Bandai Namco's story is all about passion, creativity, and unstoppable desire to make unforgettable experiences for everyone to enjoy. And that's the story behind Bandai Namco Greatest Success. If you enjoyed this tale of success, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this one. Until then, see you on the next drop.